Let us take a new question in the topic of torsion. I am marking this question. Let's read what is given here. A solid circular shaft is to transmit 300 kilowatts at 100 rpm if shear stress is not to exceed 80 newton per mm square find the diameter of shaft what percentage saving in weight would be obtained if this shaft is replaced by a hollow one whose internal diameter equals 0 0.6 of external diameter length material and maximum shear stress being same this is the question which we have in front of us in which at first there is a solid shaft then it is replaced by a hollow shaft and we have to find how much is the percentage saving in weight when we are shifting from solid to hollow shaft so let us write the data for this question it is given a solid circular shaft is to transmit 300 kilowatts power is 300 so it is 3 in 100 into 10 raised to 3 watts at 100 rpm speed is given next if the shear stress is not to exceed 80 newton per mm square fs value find the diameter of shaft so at first we have to calculate how much is the diameter of solid shaft the next part of the problem it is related to hollow shaft the question is what percentage saving in weight would be obtained so we have to find out the percentage saving in weight if this shaft is replaced by a hollow one it means solid shaft is replaced by a hollow one internal diameter equals 0 0.6 of external diameter so it is the relation is the internal diameter is 0 0.6 times of external diameter length material and maximum shear stress being same so the length of solid and hollow shaft it would be same the material and shear stress value would even be same so now with the data available with us let us try to get the solution for this problem here since power and rpm are given i will start with the equation of power since power transmitted by shaft is given by 2 pi nt upon 60 therefore t is equal to p into 60 divided by 2 pi n power is given in the question it is 300 into 10 raised to 3 watts speed is 100 rpm therefore the value of torque comes out to be 28.65 into 10 raised to 3 newton meter this torque i will convert it into newton mm so we have 28.65 into 10 raised to 6 newton millimeter so the first step was to calculate the torque once we know the torque we can go on for finding the diameter for the solid shaft i will say that by strength criteria based on strength criteria the formula is t by j is equal to fs by r t value it is 28.65 into 10 raised to 6 divided by j value j for solid shaft it is pi by 32 d raised to 4 is equal to fs shear stress is given in the question it is 80 newton per mm square 80 divided by r that is equal to d by 2 
from left hand side and right hand side d gets cancelled so here i have d cube therefore this d cube would be shifted onto the other side and i have 28.65 into 10 raised to 6 divided by pi by 16 into 80 so if i calculate all terms carefully numerator upon denominator and take the cube root i will get the answer of d as it comes out to be 122.18 mm our answer number one the next part of the question what percentage saving in weight would be obtained if this shaft is replaced by a hollow one now we have calculated the diameter of solid shaft next we have to show how much would be the percentage saving in weight if the hollow shaft is used in place of solid shaft so let us try to get this i'll say that since the material length and shear stress is same for both solid and hollow shaft therefore even the torque value will be same so i'll say that torque in solid shaft is equal to torque in hollow shaft the torque in solid shaft is given by pi by 16 d cube into fs that's for solid shaft is equal to the torque in hollow shaft is given by pi by 16 capital D raised to 4 minus small d raised to 4 upon D into Fs. Now, since I am equating the torque on both the sides, as I see shear stress value is same, so Fs will get cancelled out. Pi by 16 and pi by 16 will get cancelled out. This diameter of solid shaft we have calculated just now. The value was 122.18 whole cube is equal to capital D I'll keep it as it is in place of small d the relation is given small d is 0 0.6 times of capital D upon capital D therefore if I calculate the terms here I will get here I have d raised to 4 minus d raised to 4 will give me d raised to 4 upon d it means the this would get cancelled out so I would be having d cube and the answer of d cube is it is 140.37 into 10 raised to 3 therefore if i take the cube root sign i would be getting capital d is equal to 128 mm that's the outer diameter for hollow shaft next i'll say that since small d is equal to 0 0.6 times of capital d therefore 0 0.6 into 128 so here i have small d value as 76.8 mm once i have capital d and small d now i can easily calculate the percentage saving in weight i can say that since percentage saving in weight is equal to area of solid shaft minus area of hollow shaft upon area of solid shaft into 100 therefore area of solid shaft it would be given by pi by 4 d square here i'll write down d suffix s it represents the diameter of solid shaft minus pi by 4 capital d square minus small d square this is for hollow shaft 
outer diameter and internal diameter divide this by pi by 4 ds square that is the diameter of solid shaft into 100 if i see from all the terms i can take pi by 4 common and cancel it out diameter of solid shaft we know that it is 122.18 the diameter outer diameter of hollow shaft that was 128 and small diameter it was the inner diameter it was 76.8 So from this I would be getting the percentage saving in weight and the value comes out to be 29.76% which is close to 30%. It means if we prefer instead of solid shaft hollow shaft then 30% weight would be saved. So here we have, I have drawn the cross section of both the solid and hollow shaft and as we have seen the percentage reduction in weight by using hollow shaft is 30% so we would be preferring the cross section for hollow shaft then to the solid shaft and with this we complete the question.